The legal advisors in this case have also represented other colleges and universities in the past, but they say the case here at UCO is more extreme. It's extraordinary and outrageous. It is straight out sex discrimination and it needs to stop. Attorney Arthur Bryant with Bailey Glasser Law Firm in California is representing female athletes on the UCO women's track and cross country teams. He says based on the Title IX requirements, the university has failed to offer their female athletes the same rights as the male athletes. They don't give the women on the track, field and cross country teams a locker room, a competitive facility, and they require them to practice at a middle school. And even the middle school can't accommodate everybody, so they also require some of them to practice in high school instead. The Title IX lawsuit was served to UCO Tuesday, but he says they brought these issues to the university's attention back in May. Suggested that we sit down or I sit down with our lawyers and we try to work this out without the need for a lawsuit. We spent months trying to get them to be reasonable and fix the problem. It's a federal law. They have no choice about this. They're blatantly violating the law, but they were not willing uh, to treat women and men equally. Now he says they are waiting to see how UCO will respond to the lawsuit. I reached out to UCO about this case, but they chose not to comment. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Alexandria Williams, KOCO 5 News.